yeah, that would be part of what you ate if this fish was prepared. But to eat the fish, you can't have them preserved with all of their guts in. That doesn't lend good understand. flavor. Mm -hmm. Also, the scales have to be removed if you want to eat them because it's like eating like 5,000 fingernails, which would be yeah. gross. Yes, I've done that before. You've eaten, where did you get 5,000 fingernails? <laughs> no, I mean, I've eaten scales. Okay. Um, so, before we get too far into what's in the guts, I do want to cut off the gill, the gill cover so you can see that gill a little bit better. The gill is where their gas exchange happens. That it, they don't have lungs, y'all know that, but those gills are where the oxygen goes into their body oh. and the carbon leaves the body. So your lungs alive? are probably pretty pink no, like that. Right now. <laughs> so oh. right here taking up a lot of room is an air sac. That's what makes a dead fish float. And that's also what keeps them neutrally buoyant. We never did flinkers in this class with oh, the water. But you can think about the flinkers we did with the rice and the helium balloons. Mm. That helps him be neutrally buoyant in the water. They've also got this in this um, tube that goes straight from their mouth all the way to their anus. That's the hole in their butt where the poop comes out. That is all connected. So when they eat food, it comes in their mouth. You got a pretty big mouth. I love it. And then I that. No wonder he talks back so much. <laughs> a drum like this actually has teeth back here. I'm pushing up against some of his teeth so way back here in the back. Um, I'm not quite strong enough because he's pretty because he's pretty tough. <laughs> you can feel some of the dirt. Or I can feel some of the dirt that's in his in his intestines because he eats off the bottom. If we remove that's why he's the bottom feather. feather. Yeah. So if we look at these guts, there is kind of a sack that's full of stuff. Pizza. This is his last dinner before he got before he was caught on the end of a fishing hook. <laughs> oh, what was it? What was it? Poop. Yep, this is, uh, some of it is turned to poop. Some of it has not yet been digested. Can we see it? You want to see his poop? No, yes. I want to oh, see the yes. poop. Please don't open it. Show it. it. Show it. Huh? Open it, please. Show open it. Open Show it. it. Do you want to smell fish that. poop? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I smell. No, no, no. One time he might oh. do it. Oh. We went across the cold. So that's got a lot of gravel in it. Feels like little shells. His jaws that were in the back of his throat that you couldn't see, they are. Oh, smells now. They are really good oh. at crushing little shellfish. Yummy. So no, a lot no. of this is little clam shells. Oh, God, that smells. Yeah, it's things. It smells like big I still want to bite them. So you can come in here. Yeah, you can. This air sac feels kind of like leather. But right here, kind of hard to see, there's a heart. There's a little heart that pumps blood. Wait, can you take it out? Can you take it out? It's attached pretty well. It's attached pretty well. It's attached pretty well. Yep. Hey, good, good. Look at me. Can I see the heart? Right there. Alright, alright. I'll pull it out. I'll pull it out. I'll break its back. It's so disgusting. Wait. Okay. Can I see? Whoa. That fish is evil. We're bringing this fish back to life.